Everybody knows how good dams is in small waters. Looks nothing like the real thing, let's be honest. It's a lure, it's an out and out lure. But this one's got a few key ingredients that I really love. It's got the hackle for movement, nice fibrous tail, but it's got this micro straggle, and that's what it is. It's a micro straggle damsel. Let's go ahead and tie him. So the first thing we're going to do is, I've got a size 10 comp heavyweight here, and some three mil hot hair beads. Bright chartreuse. I'm going to thread that onto the hook. Got some light olive, AO uni thread, and I'm going to bring this thread down to the end of the, the hook shank. I like the tips of the marabou, nice and thin. Let's trim the ends off because I want the whole lot to be the same thickness. Making sure it's nice and straight on the hook shank. Lovely. I've then got this micro straggle. It's a lovely, it's the same colour as the bead basically. But it's great stuff to work with. It's quite thin and understated if that makes sense once it's tied into the fly. I'll catch it on a mass of the hook shank. Very simple dubbing for this is the marabou. Let's take some marabou feathers, dub it on nice and thin. We're going to have a rib with that chenille, so we'll be okay. Sorry, the struggle. Dub on the feathers, creating the body. Like so, in a nice touch and turns, wind up the body. Leave a little bit of space behind the bead for your hackle. Take away any stray fibres. And then wind this up, pulling it tight every time. Nice open wraps. You can see what I mean by it's understayed. It really looks apart. And then just tie it off. Couple of thread wraps. I've got here a, a dyed green partridge hackle. Just catch that in. Stroke the hackle back, wind it around the shank. A couple of times, stroking it back, stroking it back. Probably best to use hackle pliers here rather than your fingers. And just a few thread wraps to secure. Wipe your fingers, stroke your fibres back, come in with the thread, just to make sure that your, your, your hackle's going back over the body. And again, a couple of marabou tips, nice and thin, just to hide those thread wraps, really. Come in in front of the hackle, behind the bead, take a couple of wraps in there. Finish off, you've got nice olive thread on. What to do is a little bit of varnish on the thread just to bed it in, make sure it sticks in behind that bead and whip finish. That's a fantastic damsel pattern any time of the year. 